Hello, hello, and welcome to this week's video. It is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And um, I thought it was appropriate since uh, it is my birthday to open up a present that I got. So, um, or this is a little unboxing video, and we're going to be talking about backpacks. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. So um, today we're going to be unboxing the Think Tank uh, backpack that they sent me. I've been having some problems with backpacks and this has been going on for a while now. Um, I have a lot of very heavy gear. The Nikon equipment I have is very heavy and it's a little bulky and so I needed something that I could carry around that would fit all my gear but that would also be able to fit under a seat because I don't know about you, but when I am at an airport and I get the dreaded message that seems like it's every flight nowadays that says, oh, the flight is completely full and we're, we're going to run out of overhead bins and we're going to take your rolly bags. And to me, that's so stressful because my entire life is in that bag. It's expensive, very delicate photo equipment and they take it away from me and I sit there stressing, sweating bullets. Usually enough people give up their bags that I don't have to, but sometimes they do try to take it away from me and I sit there trying to take out every single piece of equipment, trying to get it to sit in my lap or get it into my backpack and it's dangerous and it's just been a huge stress on my life. So I reached out to Think Tank and I had seen that they have a backpack called the Shape Shifter. They've come in two different sizes, the 15 and the 17 inch, and I wanted something that would go under the seat. What's so great about this backpack is that it doesn't have all the foam um, padding that a lot of the other backpacks do that make it so it's too bulky to fit under a seat, um, and it's all neoprene. So let's go ahead and just open it up, and I'll show you what they sent me. All right, so they ship me this box so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box I haven't seen the backpack yet so I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I am really hoping this is the solution to my problems that I can get my gear in there at least the really important stuff right the stuff that I do not want ending up um, under an airplane okay so um, I definitely want to be able to fit this under the seat I also go on float planes sometimes we're going to Alaska here and um, I'm gonna be sharing some of the um, experience I have with the backpack in the field while I'm in Alaska um, also in Africa when you're on these little planes you don't get a lot of space so I need something that is going to be condensed that I'm gonna be able to carry around with me and have um, what I need in the bag all right, so um, open the box and it fits. Here it is. Da, 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 da. So, um, really excited to share this with you guys. So, like I said, Think Tank sent me this a solution to my problem, and it looks like this. So, it is black. Can't go wrong with black. Um, and the other really cool thing about this bag that I have yet to see a photo bag have, um, that I own anyway, and that is a place for my water bottle. I am out hiking a ton and I need water. Um, I don't want to put the water bottle in with the camera gear because, you know, if it leaks, all my stuff is getting wet and that is no good. So here is the shape shifter. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, such high quality. Of course, you know, it's Think Tank. So you know that it's going to be really high quality. And um, yeah, so we have, like I said, the water bottle thing. It actually also comes off. So if I decide that I don't want to have it, um, it has a Velcro strap right here that just comes right off. Um, and inside, let's see. So I am able to open up this little pouch here. Inside is also a rain jacket for the backpack. So if I'm going to be somewhere where it's going to get really wet, like um, Galapagos, get on the Pangas. Also, when I'm in Alaska, we're going to be out on some boats. Sometimes you want just a little extra protection for the bag so it can go over it and keep it from getting super wet. But as you saw, it 
condenses down into this tiny little pouch, which I love that because some of my other backpacks, um, I have these pouches, but I have nowhere to put it. So this tiny little pouch that fit right in that water bottle slot is absolutely perfect for the bag. So I can put this back in here. This is super great. Look how thin it is. It's like super duper thin. Okay, so like I said, it is the Shape Shifter. This is the 15. It's the version 2.0, so they've updated it. So here we go. Um, you can unzip the pouch, and it has the very back is where the laptop goes. So yes, I can carry my laptop in there. That's another thing. I do not want to go under the plane. I don't need my laptop breaking and making it impossible for me to download the pictures. So it has a laptop slot in the back. Super great. And then this front pocket here, it unzips all the way down and expands. So that first zipper is just to make the bag bigger. So once I got everything I need in there, I can zip it up and make it smaller if I need to, which is amazing. All right, and then opening it up. So it has some instructions here, which is great. Gives you some ideas of how to use it. And then look at this bag. So see how it has, it even has a demonstration of exactly like what can fit in here. See, camera, lenses, even the big guys. This is super great. Um, so like I said, this has neoprene pouches. So instead of that bulky foam that you would get in another bag, it has these pouches that my camera can fit right into here. Okay, and then this neoprene pouch right here as well. So another body, so I can do lens, 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 body, or lens, or a body, body, two lenses. So depending on what I want to take, I usually take two bodies. Um, and then I typically photograph with my 180 to 600 Nikon lens. And then I have my smaller landscape lens um, that is the 18 to 50, so that's super wide that I put on the Z50. So having the Z9 go in this pouch right here, the bigger guy here and um, yeah and then it expands right so on the other side you can see we've got some zipper pouches this is good for all the other things you need like your memory cards you've got a couple pouches here so I'm put some stuff in there as well memory cards batteries all that fun stuff and then zips in here so I'll show you in a second when I put my gear in here to just show you how it fits um, but we'll zip that up and then in the front here I've got this nifty nifty tag I'll of course take off but we've got a couple extra pockets so something else that I really wanted while I'm traveling through the airport is some accessibility so some pockets so that I can have maybe my headphones things like that um, maybe my wallet stuff that is really important. Of course, this tag is gonna have to go because it's in my way, but um, we've got some slots for pens, a few zippy pockets here, and uh, look at that, even some of these straps if I need it. Super great. So that's just the top pocket. And then, I'm going to, have to take this tag off because it's getting in my way. Um, we've also got some pockets down here on the bottom. So just a quick little pocket here for the tripod. Yes, it can fit my tripod, um, which is great. So the legs are going to go in there. And then another zippy pocket. So I can put more of the things that I need in here as well. All right. Um, it also is very padded. It has this, um, you can see here, I can slip it on a rolly bag. So I can carry my Pelican case that has, um, my extra supplies in it. If I don't want to have the weight of all of my gear on my back while I'm traveling through the airport, I can put it in the Pelican case. And that way, if 
I do get an overhead bin space. I can put it up there and then I can just transfer what I need for the day into my day pack. Um, and then if they say, oh, I'm going to take away your rolly bag, I can just put all my camera gear in here. So this is the incredible solution that I've been looking for. It also has the little belt pouch so that um, I can buckle myself in. Makes it easier when you are walking around. All right, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to get the stuff in the bag. So as I said, the bag opens up and there's these neoprene pouches. So my most important piece of gear, right? The Z9, this thing is big, it's bulky, but it's going to fit really nice right here in this neoprene pouch. It's got one on each side, one for the below. So everything is going to get super padded. And I can stretch it in there so that it is nice and tight. I'm going to tuck my strap in there. I use the strap sometimes um, just to hold it, but I usually have the harness instead. But I like to keep that attached. I'm pretty unusual that way. All right, so it's fitting in there super nice, as you can see. Perfect. All right. The hardest piece, right, is the fact that this lens is so big and bulky. This is the Nikon 180 to 600. It is the lens I use the most. It is my workhorse, so I need to make sure that I'm carrying it and that it is nice and safe in my bag. So to me, it makes the most sense to put it in the pouch next to the camera here. And these pouches have little drawstrings, so it makes it nice and safe. And we're gonna go ahead and slide it in here. So hopefully it fits. All right, so it is taking up a majority of the bag, but that's to be expected. It's gonna do that in every bag that I have, but it's fitting in there nicely, right? So it's kind of taking up the space at the top here, but not a big deal because the other one that I'm gonna put in is the tiny little Z50 with the attached 16 to 50. So I'm not gonna have to take that off. I'm just gonna wrap that around. And I do like to sometimes put it in the bag that Nikon gives me when I order lenses and stuff. So this is my little Nikkor bag, a little safe and sound in there. Doesn't really need it because it's got the neoprene, but always nice to have a little extra padding. So I've got this big extra spot right at the top here and I can shove that in there really good. Okay, so I've got my camera and two cameras, two lenses in the bag right now. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like here. All right, see how we've got the Z9 in here? We've got the 180 to 600 in here, right here. And then in this top pouch. We still have an extra pouch right here, but because I've got this really big lens on, it is taking up a lot of space. So um, we're probably gonna just leave that the way it is. All right, so if I was going to not bring in the 180 to 600, maybe I wanna bring um, some more landscape stuff. This is the 24 to 70. I can put that in here um, very easily. And then my second body right here. And um, I also have a macro lens, so the macro could fit here too. So I could also put two um, lenses, two camera bodies. Well, technically three lenses because the second body already has a lens on. And it's going to fit really nicely there. And um, yeah, so we're gonna zip that inside pocket. Everything nice and tight. So now you can see all of my stuff is in the bag. It's zipped up and I can still have room for my laptop to go right in the back. Easy peasy. Look at that. There it is. It can fit under the seat of an airplane, standard seat of an airplane. And uh, easy enough. Even has space here for my luggage tag, so I can put my memory or my uh, business card in there. Make sure that people know who it is in case for some reason it gets misplaced. But um, yeah, so I'm super excited to take this out into the field. I am headed to the Arizona Bird Festival in Tucson, the uh, Southeast Arizona Bird Festival, and then from there we're going to Alaska. And we're going to be taking boats and float planes and pangas and all sorts of things. So this is going to be the absolute perfect bag. And I can't wait to show you videos of that, which will be on a later video. 
So anyways, this is the solution to my problems. Cross my fingers, um, but I have complete faith in Think Tank. And if you are interested in a bag like this, um, you can look at my affiliate link in the comments uh, or in the description of this video. And there's two sizes. So this is the 15. This is the smaller. Um, and there's also a 17. So um, check those out. And uh, stay tuned for other videos where I'm going to show you this in the field. Um, but thank you so much, Think Tank. I am so happy to try out this bag. And I'm sure you're going to love everything that um, this bag can offer you. So thank you. Happy birthday to me. Thank you, Think Tank. And um, we will catch you next week on another video. Have a good one.